Let's continue with our fine tuning of our system here, open box system. We can, uh, we've just installed the personal things here. The things we should check out are programs in here, the 410. We should display them first and see what we installed already in NOS system and what things we can install even further. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. This is the Elix terminal. This is another terminal. So this is probably the GNOME terminal. Okay, fine. Let's make it a bit more beautiful. It's not yet transparent yet. Uh, in for that, we have to uh, install a completely different kind of application. So we cannot do that, but we can make it a bit nicer already by changing these things and selecting that one. And the look is somewhat different. So that's that. Question is, sudo pacman minus s. Can we install OB menu? Is it already installed? Yes, no. It says reinstalling, meaning OB menu is already installed. So we are gonna go over elements that have been added. So you see the hashtag in front of it. So at some point in time, I knew it was already installed. So I said, I'm gonna delete or, or um, make this text so it will not be executed. So no. The same applies for notify OSD sends, so that works as well, notify program for changes of music and all that. Then it wants to obconf, but obconf open box configuration is this one. So we have seen that one in the tutorials. Then next one is LX appearance, etc. LX appearance. We have an Alix appearance and it's this one. So that's, uh, it works just fine. If you really want to have the one for the OB configuration, so the open box configuration, then you really should know your Packer or your, your um, Yahoo or Packer or anything else. So an AUR helper, OB conf. And yes, you can install it as well. He says this is installed, so then it's okay. Maybe you should make it a bit bigger. Not sure if it's if I read it correctly. Let's we'll see. Now, yeah, okay, installed, no problem. Now it's very clear. It's behind this line, so that's another thing we already have we don't need to run this alex render don't recall if that was there i think a render was there so this is not installed alex render is it important not really um, take a look how it looks i believe it's just in here the difference is that we have now this uh, graphic user interface that I've lost now here, that you can tell what's the resolution you want to have for refresh rate and things like that. So, okay, that's Alex render. Done. The OB key. We have the OB key. And you saw the program already. It's the program that is going to edit this XML file with all these shortcuts. So we didn't, don't need to install it. So it's all hashtagged out, it's all commented. OB auto start. I don't believe I can check it out like so. Auto header. No, nope. I can't. The only thing I can know maybe is, is sudo pacman minus remove. Let's see if I can remove it. If I can remove it, then it's installed. No, nope, it does not seem to be installed. Hmm. And like so, let's see what all of OBs, no OBs to be installed. So it's actually a program that really needs to be run with Packer, but we do not need it. Yeah, 
it's not yet installed so this is the first program we come across that can be installed but will not be installed because of the fact that I've uh, put hashtags in front it, of it so we don't really don't need it it's possible we don't need it nitrogen is for wallpaper changes but I use variety so I'm not gonna use it this one we should install Fe, so that's uh, an error on my part we really should have these lines for sure otherwise variety will not work wrong program uh, don't save don't know what I changed but don't save right mouse click open with other sublime texts set as default ok because I want to work on the scripts so that they are without any error come on so in, in the colors LX render will be installed everything that's colorful will be installed and here we are at Fe. so these things edit comment toggle comment now Fe will be installed as well save and we'll upload it later what else menu maker menu maker is menu maker installed no it doesn't seem to be installed so no pacman minus s menu something uh, menu maker we can just install it from the standard repositories but it's not going to be installed well because it's a lot of work it's manual work i don't like manual work i like my ob menu generator now we are where we want to be let's see if we can just type it like so i suppose not but i'm gonna show you so ob menu we can install but then we should really voila we should uh, run it in this way ob menu generator and indeed there is a package in AUR we can ask him to install it we don't want to edit it and he's off to install it oh, done already yes no no and this is actually the generator itself alright so the OB something menu generator there it is how will it look what is this thing it supplies us text we can't run it here as you can see we can run it but well we'll have to check out what help we need no help no option available help noob h minus h will give you what you can do generate a dynamic menu generate a static menu include icons and so on um, if we do windows spacebar we get a menu from previously and maybe maybe it's already in there but that's a maybe i don't see it maybe it was too quick open box configuration manager no that's not it nope so the menu generator should come up should pop up at some point in time so that's anyway installed that's good gm run no longer installed is it already installed gm run yep it's installed so i don't need to install it arch linux kgg menu arch linux kdg mime nope not sure what this was again this is our special arc theme for open box we've shown that in a tutorial in uh, the other uh, installation i didn't use tint so tint is this thing up here i used xfce4 panel and, and made a little panel up here 
and it was transparent and it moved out of the way and that's all I needed but now it's tint from Antegos and okay Compton Compton is installed I believe but the settings are not to my liking so Compton works and you can get transparent things with Compton so that's will be installed I installed also the D menu that's true D menu is actually a program that's coming from i3 then I have always a um, backup menu so Windows D is now this here go to the desktop but in uh, i3 Windows D is actually uh, activating a menu so D menu menu is going to be uh, installed when you run this and LX input is already available so as the input device preferences we've seen that player control is not installed thank you I think no nope. so that's a program to control your sound specifically for different kind of streaming from Bluetooth or so there is indeed there's an open box theme if you're not happy with the things you see in my tutorials then you check it out if you can find in Pac-Man, yep, it is in the standard repositories, open box themes. And then you have these two. And that's it. Okay, so all in all, um, already okay. And let's just now run. Where are we exactly? No, we're not where we're supposed to be. So this is saved. Let's run this one run in terminal and the ones we're missing will be installed and all the rest as let's you see is skipped let's go over them uh, this is already installed it's already installed it's already installed I wanted to be sure so I checked them one by one XFCE panel is now installed Compton is already installed D menu player control player control is a bit of an issue I don't know why they fix it on AUR. It ends up with two files and then it conflicts and then it stops. So I've written a line of codes behind it to fix that. There we are. Some of the programs that were not installed have now been installed. It's now up to us to figure out what has changed.